This is a special birthday tribute to Francis Ben de Coast. Francis Ben de Coast, formerly of the beautiful Acadian community of Cape Jack, Harbushi, Anakinish County. Underline the county! Anakinish County, Nova Scotia. And it's hard to believe he's going to be 80 years old on this Wednesday, the 17th of April. He was an April baby. And he's a smolly cat. It's hard not to like somebody smalls. He's a smolly cat. And I just don't think him as older. He's going to be 80 years old in less than 48 hours, about 36 hours. And we're recording at 25 past four in the afternoon on Monday the 15th. So Francis Bendy Coast, Evelyn the St. Evelyn the Coast, uh, late St. Evelyn the Coast, husband Francis. Francis Ben. And I think he's named after his grandfather. I'm pretty certain his grand, because his father was Sylvester, so his grandfather would have been Ben. So that's we get the name Francis Ben de Coast. And he's a he was a school teacher, school vice principal, and John Gee's my saintly, wonderful John Gee de Coast father. And there's also a, a sister, uh, Rochelle, and I think they have two children. Uh, Evelyn have been in the convent before. And they take, and he, you get a clean, nice woman when you marry somebody from the convent. So he, he certainly got a lively, clean, nice lady when he, when he married the, the equally saintly Evelyn de Coast from Cape Jack. Okay, she was, uh, she was the daughter of uh, Andrew de Coast. He was a cook and a CNR and a very great businessman, entrepreneur, and her brother, Ernest, and they're all very entrepreneurial. But anyway, back to Francis Ben de Coast. This is his 80th birthday. I said it's hard not to love somebody that smiles. Well, I I went up to Bill Gillis' the saintly Bill Gillis' funeral uh, with Francis de Coast. And so anyway, that was, and I, he said, you know, when he was MLA, he used to stop at the house. He'd bring a sandwich with him, and he'd stop at the house and have his lunch. And so would you like tea or coffee? And he said, no, I, glass of milk, please. And Francis told me, you couldn't help but vote for somebody that drank milk with their lunch. And, and that's a fact. Couldn't help but vote for somebody that drank milk with their lunch. And Francis is a very kind and good man. He's an excellent chef. He was a tremendous father uh, to his kids, uh, Rochelle and John Gee. And John Gee thinks the world of him. And I hope to God that Rochelle does too. Okay, and everybody said he was in a choir. One night he's in a choir, and he he wasn't anorexic, but he he wasn't he wasn't a sumo wrestler either. Okay, but he's in a choir for many years when he lived in Harbour Bushy, and uh, Cape Jack actually Cape Jack Road, and uh, he took and uh, I said you sing like Pavarotti. He looked at me and he kind of smirked and smiled. He said. What do you mean? I'm big like Pavarotti? He says, no, no, you sing like Pavarotti. So that that was good. Okay, sing like Pavarotti. So, and another, another thing is, he's very down to our cat. No bullshit with this guy. And I, I don't know, he, he missed his wife dearly, Evelyn. He dropped in one evening and we're talking in the store. And uh, I don't know how it come up. And he said, well, we're... I said, all these people out of Cape Jack and Arbush have all done very well. And they, he said, they, well, we're all poor. He said, we're all poor. We had tremendous motivation. We're all poor. But he said, everybody was poor. So when I was a kid, so we didn't know we were poor. And said, so that was a good way of putting it. Everybody was poor when we were a kid. But you know, going eight years ago, he, so he had been born now on um, 1944, is that correct? 44, 56 years in the old century, and 24 in the new century. So yeah, he's the 40, 40 in the new millennium. He is uh, 80 years, 1944, the second line. And he's a nephew of, how's it go? The wonderful Doherty Malong, the saintly Doherty Malong, and that's an extremely accomplished family, Malong family. Uh, when I did a video tribute on her, when she went to heaven, that uh, he said, thank you very much for a nice video on my end. And his first, so Doherty was the coasts. So Sylvester, Francis's father, and Doherty must have been brother and sister. And there's a bunch of them. One, one, of, his, one of his sisters is the famous Marie, of Johnny Marie, the, the, 
that put the conscience on the last Sunday every month in the heart of Bushy. And he takes and uh, and uh, they still go on under their name. And they take and uh, wonderful people said, it's a, it's a large and accomplished family it comes from and from beautiful, my, my great, my Canadian great grandfather and my Canadian grandmother was from Cape Jack and my Canadian great grandfather was from Cape Jack. He had three wives, no divorces, three wives. Interested somebody in Mulgrave, um, Ambrose de Coast, and he was going to marry this lady, but he didn't like flying. And then she went to Ontario, so she married somebody up there, and he married a lady from Lewisdale. And they were married for, I don't know, 50, 60 years, and she died. And somehow he got word that the lady he went with originally had died. No, they didn't die. Her husband had died. So the widow from Ontario married a widow from Mulgrave, and that marriage went on for, oh, 12, 15 years. They were very elderly when he passed on and later by. She was a Morrison from Morrison's Lake. And the same with Francis. I say hello to Teresa. Teresa used to go date uh, John Gee's father, and then she married somebody else, and he met Skinner Gentleman. He was a great guy in his own right, and he married Evelyn, who was a wonderful lady. And Evelyn died... And then her husband died, and they got back together. So isn't how life, no divorces, no separations. And it just isn't that amazing how life goes. So Francis de Coast, we're going to, we're going to, Francis Ben de Coast, we're going to say a prayer for you on your 80th birthday. Say, Our Father, gentlemen, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be the name, thy kingdom come, and all will be done on earth as it is in heaven, and give us a day a daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as with those trespass against us, and lead us to temptation, and deliver us from evil. Amen. And we wish you happy birthday, Francis, this Wednesday, the 17th, happy 80th birthday, and many, many more. All the best. God bless. God bless Francis the Coast, and God bless his lovely wife, Teresa, and his fine son, John Gee, and Karen, and his uh, older sister, uh, Rochelle, and, and their family. Thank you very much. And uh, spread this video far and wide. This is a man that was a wonderful teacher, and a lot of kids had a good start in life because of him. I'm, I'm going to mention that. A lot of is he was as kind, as good to his kids in his class as they would to his own immediate family. And he's a, just a very decent, good gentleman. I, and may God grant you a long life. Thank you. Bye for now.